Hey guys, welcome to Mr. Van Lowe's poorly monetized, low budget science channel. <laughs> Today we're gonna to take a look at a mass on a string on a circular path and check out the forces involved. Okay, let's jump right in. Uh, here we have a mass on a string and the mass is on a circular, circular path, not the string. Um, this is all you need to know for a free body diagram for a mass on a string with a circular path. We have two forces here, weight and tension. The angle is also important as you're going to see later, okay? Um, and we measure the angle from the equilibrium position. In other words, if this object is dangling with zero motion, it will be in its equilibrium position. That is the uh, point from which we measure our angle, okay? So there's our free body diagram. These two forces alone, a lot of students make this mistake, okay? This diagram is wrong. We do not add centripetal force to our free body diagram. Centripetal force is not a separate force to either tension or gravity, okay? Centripetal force is the horizontal component of tension not separate, okay? So if you see this diagram anywhere, you need to point out it's wrong. If you wanted to add anything here, perhaps you could add uh, acceleration. That might be okay, but you would not add that as a separate force. So don't do it. All right, so here is a breakdown then of our free body diagram. What we have here is weight, as we've seen, and we have tension, and then we have the components of tension in red. So we have the vertical component of tension shown, and we have the horizontal component of tension. And as I said earlier, that horizontal component is our centripetal force. The vertical component of tension is just going to be negative weight. Okay, so if we take the sum of our vertical components, uh, what we're going to find is that that sum is equal to zero. So in other words, our vertical components cancel each other out. And all we're left with is our horizontal component. Okay, we should note here that T, tension, is the hypotenuse of a right triangle. Okay, so I could, uh, I could add a little uh, box to indicate a right triangle, and that would be fine. Makes perfect sense. Okay, so we also know that weight is equal to mass times gravitational acceleration. And uh, we also know that the adjacent to an angle is equal to T, the radius of the right triangle, or hypotenuse, times cosine of theta, okay? So that then gives us this equation, where weight is equal to negative mass times gravitational acceleration being equal to tension times cosine of theta. Okay, once we have that information, we can then solve for tension. Nice, so if we know the angle and we know the mass, of our object, uh, we can now solve our equation for tension and plug in those values, but this is the uh, general equation. Okay, so that's, uh, that is one important piece of the puzzle that we've now solved. Okay, so we next look at centripetal force, and what we're going to find is that centripetal force is given by a sine function, and that is because it is opposite to the angle. So centripetal force will be equal to T sine of theta. And we will then substitute uh, our value for T, which we solved earlier, giving us this value where um, we have the quantity negative mass times gravitational acceleration divided by cosine of theta times sine, sine of theta. And then we can slightly rearrange this so that sine of theta and cosine of theta are on top of each other. And you will note that that is the definition of the tangent function, okay? So that will then give us 
a negative mg tangent of theta. Okay, so conclusion. Centripetal force then is equal to negative mg tangent of theta. Gravity is a constant, so if we know our mass and we know our angle, then we can solve for centripetal force. Okay, and note again that centripetal force is just the horizontal component of tension. That's it. It is not a separate force. Okay, that's it. Um, do not like, do not click subscribe. Uh, if you leave a comment, I'll have to answer it, but I won't like it. But I will answer it, probably. Okay, have a great day. Take care.